and the scientists in a race to discover why our universe exists. Now, two teams of scientists are in a race to discover why our universe exists. Researchers in the US are hoping their new particle detector could offer an explanation, but a rival Japanese team is a few years ahead of them. Who will find the answer first? Here's our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh. Nestled above the mist is a lab in South Dakota, where scientists are trying to find out why the universe exists. The answer lies deep underground. They used to dig for gold here, but now they're searching for something even more precious for the scientists here. Uh, we're 1,500 metres underground in this cathedral for science. We're poised to begin construction of the detectors that will change our understanding of the universe, answer the question of why we exist. When the universe was created, Scientists believe there were two kinds of particles. There was matter from which the stars and galaxies and everything around us was created. And then there was antimatter, its exact opposite. Theoretically, the two of them should have combined and cancelled each other out, leaving nothing but a big burst of energy. Yet here we are. Scientists believe that the answer to why matter won that big battle and the universe exists lies in studying a particle called the neutrino and its exact opposite, the antineutrino. Scientists will be firing both particles in beams all the way from Illinois, deep underground to detectors in South Dakota, to find out what the differences are. If they find a difference, they'll have hit the jackpot and found a key difference between matter and antimatter that will bring them a giant leap closer to explaining why the universe exists the way it does. Half a world away, a Japanese-led team is also building a detector, like this one, to search for the same answers. And they're three years ahead. We switch on earlier and have a larger detector, so we should have more sensitivity sooner than June. But when you take the experiments together, we learn a lot more that you wouldn't get with them too, both individually. So having two experiments is the best of both worlds. Together, they're greater than the sum of its parts. Exactly, though I'd like to come first, please, still. <laughs> the race is now on, with the first results expected in just a few years. Palab Ghosh, BBC News.